Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to another Steel Division 2 video here. We are actually defending um, Baronovici, which is this town right here, from a pretty nasty Soviet assault. Not sure what they're going to have. I'm not even sure if they have any tanks in their presence. But since we have these fortifications given to us by the high command, I think it's very important that we go ahead and try to use as many as possible. Um, so I'm going to be setting them up pretty much all around the place here, uh, just to keep an eye on the enemy. Um, we actually have another pack. Let's put this one right here. And another pack 37. Let's put this bad boy right over here. Hopefully these will provide some pretty, um, pretty good support. And I think the machine gun turrets have to go here by the town. That's probably going to be where most of the enemy try to get in. Um, we can also take some barbed wire and just cover this area. Pretty much make it very unlikely that the enemy will try and cross this area with infantry. Uh, so let's put some of that down. I don't want to get too crazy, though, with the barbed wire. Hopefully, just our defenses alone will be able to hold the enemy off. But especially, like, on these far right and far left points, I see this as actually kind of a good thing, maybe to stop the enemy from attempting any crazy assaults down the flanks. We know that seems to happen quite a lot in this game, um, so I want to try and stop that, if at all possible. If you guys enjoy these Steel Division 2 games, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to comment. It really gets these videos up in views. Um, and, um, you know, because of that really assists us uh, in, in, in getting people to view the videos, etc. And increases the uh, subscribers for our channel. So I think what I'll do here, guys, we are playing as the Panzer Grenadiers. Um, and I'm going to get some Pioneers, just pretty much anti-tank stuff, uh, set up in town. I'm hoping they actually have uh, tanks. Otherwise, I'm going to look pretty foolish here with the Pioneers. Let's unload them right there. We'll take another Pioneer unit. I'm going to put it in the actual Orthodox Cathedral here. Uh, unload a cathedral is that the correct term maybe I'm not saying the right term maybe it's a uh, church I don't know all right so put the Aukflera here this is pretty much the only scout unit we have in this uh, defensive force so it's gonna be interesting to see how we actually manage to use him effectively maybe we don't manage to use him effectively at all um, the IG-18 is pretty good against enemy infantry but how much enemy infantry are we actually gonna be facing I just don't know yet. So what I am going to do is bring in the MG42, uh, put it in some of these rear positions in case the enemy breaks through. We'll at least have uh, some machine guns prepared to take them on. And maybe over here as well, just these tiny little villages um, on the front. And this is definitely the front. There's no doubt about that. Let's get a Grenfuhrer, uh, actually commander unit here. And I'll get an MG42 maybe out here on the outskirts of the village. Actually, this is uh, the city. Well, I guess it's a large town of Baranovici, a little more than a village. Uh, I'll also get some mortars. Let's unload those boys. Hopefully, they'll really push on this right side a lot um, so that we don't have to feel silly about getting this many machine guns. Because if they end up just having tanks, I'm going to feel pretty foolish. That being said, um, I don't think that's going to be the case, but I could be wrong. Alright, unload. And I might just scatter a few grenadiers um, in places like this, like I said, sort of just the outlying uh, villages. Uh, although we could also maybe do pretty well with a pack. Let's get a pack gun here. We'll unload, and we'll also get an SIG-33 infantry gun anything shows up in this area, and I mean anything, say I'm going straight to hell. Ooh, the problem is we don't have much in terms of actual additional infantry here. Pretty much going to have to do with the Grenadiers. And I'll put one over here, um, have him unload in that church. All right, guys, we're going to get started here with the fight itself. If you guys enjoy this pre-battle planning stuff, then let me know. Or if you guys find it boring, also let me know. Uh, this will determine how we proceed with future Steel Division 2 videos. All right, wish us luck, Battle boys. has commenced, men. Enemy contact already at the distance there. Um, I'm hoping that the Aukflera can see what the hell is going on. Let's see if we can knock out some of these Soviet vehicles as they approach and before they actually get to the front. There we go, beautiful explosion right there already uh, on the, I believe it's a DSP, it's definitely not a Jeep. The two capitalist, capitalist dogs use Jeeps, glorious Soviets use this and uh, other strange, Gaz is another one, uh, strange uh, automobile, we can't even call them companies, state-owned companies. 
All right, we got some movement there. I'm not liking that supply truck movement over there. Uh, that means they could absolutely be trying to do one of those flank attacks that I absolutely hate, and that's what they're doing. Oh, man, that's really, really annoying. Just gonna have to wait for some reinforcements. Um, and I think I'll try to bring in some grenadiers. So, one, two, three. Boom. Hopefully they can get to the front pretty quickly. We're already starting to spot more enemies. And I, I could just imagine how terrified um, the soldiers would be in real life here. Seeing those massive, you know, supply truck movements um, on the, uh, you know, on the distance. You know that the enemy is gonna have a lot of infantry coming your way. And all you can do is try to hold out against them. Looks like it's mostly infantry units, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that means that, I don't know, our packs are going to have limited success, I guess. There's still a use for them. Um, they can knock out a lot of vehicles. But I'm just not sure how useful. All right, let's get this guy here. I'd love to get a AT gun right there, uh, just to knock out some supply trucks, etc., so they can't overtake this area. But of course, you know that the Soviets are out for blood here. And if they're going to be using infantry, they are going to be using mass assaults. Uh, and they're probably going to do pretty well in these situations, so I'm really going to try to uh, sort of uh, change the fortunes of the Soviets for the greater good of Germany. There we go, guys. We're getting that three. I really want to push into that left turn most position. Okay, you know what? We'll get the IG since we know. We already know they don't have tanks. So let's get the IG. Push up over there. Um, we also want to get a grenadier unit or a few grenadier units over here. Uh, let's get two of them. And I'll push into the woods. I was kind of hoping to push into the town here, but I think things are getting pretty dire right now. We gotta get into the woods. Let's see how our infantry deal with their approaching trucks. Oh! The distance is a little too great, so we're gonna be facing those guys in the forest for sure. What I think we could use is maybe a few more mortars. The mortars could be very, very helpful in this situation. So the partisan units, as well as standard uh, infantry there. It's going to be a problem. Um, I'm going to put these guys actually behind the woods, because we can still use them uh, and actually put them in the forest here. Now, this is where I want to get some mortars. So let's... Oh, come on. Tell me we've got some mortars. We actually do. we got a nice 81 millimeter. This thing is a beast. Problem is, this area is being overrun. I'm actually going to go ahead and take some of these grenadiers and go ahead and march forward. Go to battle, boys. You gotta do what you gotta do, boys. And this is certainly one of those situations. We've got a shard of enemy activity going right into our um, actual lines. And also some enemy infantry approaching here. Didn't pay very close attention to them. I hope that 37, the Pac-37, can still get some shots on them at least. All right, let's unload right here. We are going to engage those Soviets as soon as they get into the woods. All right, here we go. Another um, sh sort of shallow wooded area. So I'm going to drop some grenadiers there. And some over here. They might not even make it. We'll see. I think some of these guys might have machine guns on top. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Where's that damn order? Let's unload. All right, start firing, start firing, start firing. Come on, come on, come on. This is a perfect opportunity to get some nice hits here. Wish we had some air support. It's just not going to happen, though. Unload the IG. And in fact, bringing in another IG, if we can place it properly, would work out. But I think things are pretty crazy right now. We should just try and reinforce this area. The right side is doing beautifully, although we do have what looks like possibly enemy Katyushas, or maybe just standard mortars, totally trying to bombard this area and get us out of here. It's not going to happen, my Soviet friends. Not going to happen. All right, here we go. Some mortar support. Nice. Approaching. Wow, look at that. More approaching enemy units here. Um, Studebakers. So that's a Studebaker. Isn't that's not a? That's got to be lend lease. There's no way that's a Soviet vehicle. I believe that's UK. We got a Panzerfaust. Let's take a look at what else we can do here. I'm just uh, trying to see. Finally, we've got them surrounded. I want to try to fill that gap in. Um, let's see if we can get that IG right there. And we'll bring in a Commandant to oversee the festivities. Also bring in some more Grenadiers over here. 
I mean, I don't think there's much we need to do. Um, unless they get a crazy good attack, we should be all right here. We might even be able to make them surrender. Let's see if we can overrun that unit. Strelki. Got some nice DP-28 machine guns. Maybe that's why they've lasted this long against our infantry, but I think at this point we've got them, boys. All right, there we go. Fuel explosions up this road. Just a stellar German defense in this battle. Still see some enemies approaching there um, in the field, but I think so far things are going pretty damn well for our boys. Yes, these Soviets are nice and toasty. Now, I do wish there was a way to knock down the battle clock a bit. Um... I'm not sure there is. Maybe if we overtake these positions, uh, we actually do knock the battle clock down a little bit and uh, make this run faster, but I'm just not sure that's the case. And look at that. Those guys are still holding out, man. The Stadelki are refusing to give up. Withering fire there. They finally retreated. I'm surprised they're not surrendering, but I think we actually need to bring our supply trucks close by, um, or I should say our convoy trucks, and if usually if you pass by a unit that's falling back with convoy trucks and they're surrounded, they will surrender. Uh, so I'm hoping that's the case here for their sake, too. Right, I'm going to take this guy and unload a position. I think that it's getting a little dangerous here with the pack approaching enemy Maxim guns, etc. This is probably what I would have recommended they got initially, um, but that would that can definitely pose a threat to our men. No weapon, that's right. Oh, he can't fire. So I guess he can only fire at vehicles, which does include that Dushka. Now, I know that Dushka is an anti-air weapon, I believe quite effective against infantry. Look at that. She says some uh, Soviets escape the forest with full full bars. Doesn't make much sense. Alright, let's see if we have anything else here that we can use. Uh, certainly the Grenadiers always come in handy. I'm going to try and push the Grenadiers up there on the left side. And of course the mortars. The mortars are amazing. We have no problems on our right side, but I think it's because we have so much cover um, in that urban area. It's really helping us uh, pretty much keep the enemy at bay. So I'm just going to start getting these mortars and dropping them all over the damn place. Oh boy, one of our grenadiers, I think he just got knocked out. That Maxim is terrifying me. Unload before he does. Hopefully we can, of course, zero in on it with the uh, mortar. Actually, their mortars are probably the most effective thing they're using right now. Doesn't look all that effective because they're not directly impacting our units, but they definitely could, man. Right, I'm going to drop the Commandant in the woods there. And these Grenadiers, I'm going to drop in the woods. Otherwise, this truck is going to get blown up and all these units with it. That's the last thing I want. Let's see how this thing works. Oh! She's a beast! Unfortunately, so is the enemy infantry. Let's do some high explosive. That should be much more effective against infantry. Um, The enemy has no standing ground whatsoever. I mean, the best we could do is try to get into that area. Uh, but I'll try to take the bridge. So I'm still sending men up. And we'll actually go... We'll be a bit risky here. Since we're doing so well. And I'm going to try to send these grenadiers. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Never mind. Unload, unload, unload. Just engage. Just engage. Uh, let's unload the 81mm right there. So the second you feel comfortable things things go badly looks like they even got past our uh, our IG-18 they might try to take this thing out look at those Otomachki moving that way I'm not liking it guys and look at that their fire their um I should say their mortar fire supporting fire becomes ever more effective I'm not liking that got a DZAHP not necessarily a bad thing so what I'm going to try to do is take this Grenadier unit and unload him behind the enemy. Let's see how we're doing over here. Still a pretty nice fight um, going on here, but the enemy definitely damaged us. I mean, of course they did. We had men out in the field, so they were going to get a hit, unfortunately. Let's see if the 81mm mortar, though, can make a difference.
120 millimeter. Am I dreaming? So the scary thing here is that's all we have. Um, we can send in the Grenadier Führer, but this is all of the men we have. Once we're out here, that is it. So if the Soviets have quite a bit more reinforcements, which I suspect they do, uh, they can make things very, very difficult for us here. Where do I want to send? I'm going to send him here since we don't have much over there. Um, and obviously, if they get lucky with those mortars, they could also knock out quite a few of our men. So I'll unload here. So I know. Whoa! That really hit the sweet spot. Just exploded right in front of our mortar, uh, knocking down its strength quite a bit there. Let's see if we can't target any approaching enemy unit. Oh, man. They know exactly where our mortars are. All right. Let's see what else we can bring in. Yeah. It's just going to be another Grenfuhrer. Grenadier Fury unit. This is pretty much a Grenadier leader unit. Uh, I think they bring up some like defensive boosts. Like over here in the town, our boys are doing extremely well. We don't have to worry about them in the slightest. Over here, I think, is where we have the most danger. Just consistent fire from the enemy. So I'll send the Grenadier Fury here. And with this unit, I'm actually going to unload them in this settlement here. Let's go. Oh, we've got some Strelki hanging out over there. I didn't see those. All right, let's unload right there. That's perfect. We've got two huge mortars, both firing in. It. Look at that 120 millimeter. I really want to try to use that against an enemy uh, infantry unit. We might just let them push up to see if we can't. It even has the distance. I mean, it can fire all the way there and hit that Studebaker. It's a mean little vehicle. All right, let's push forward, guys. We're not doing our, ourselves any favors staying here, getting burned out of these woods. A lot of Germans have fallen here already. So we shall move out. Now, we can bring in supply trucks. And I'm guessing that maybe this could be used uh, to help out our mortars. So we'll send them here. But honestly, we don't have much in terms of... Um, Infantry here. Available infantry. Scheisse, boys. This is where things can get very dangerous. I think those boys are actually about to surrender. Uh, I will bring the Grenadiers out. Try to engage the Otomachki. There we go. We do have some mortars here, don't we? We've just got that one. Man, that's quite quite far. Um, I'm hoping that this Grenadier Fuhrer will also uh, bring some moral support to the guys. Maybe they'll they'll decide to fight it out. Let's hope so. But we've got a Soviet breakthrough here, and that's that's concerning. Okay, the Grenadier Fuhrer is definitely helping. I think so. Yeah, there's one here. He seems to be helping. Let's hope we can take out these infantry all by ourselves and we don't have to fall back. Yes! Oh, that was a perfectly, perfectly struck mortar. It's exactly what we want to see. And some more as they retreat. All right, we survive another day. Well, another few minutes at least. Let's see if they can spot. Don't have a line of sight on the Dushka. Um, the problem is, again, the enemy with those mortars, they know exactly what our, where our mortars are. You know, you have no idea what our men must be going through in this battle. This is certainly a battle where, even though we're superior in terms of defense, um, our men have seen just, they've seen hell and back. Um, they keep getting hit by mortars nonstop through the, throughout the day. And now, we're starting to be low on uh, actual uh, munitions, ammunition. So, guys, I'm going to move this truck right over here. But we are getting low on ammo. I never thought I would see the day. I really never thought I would see the day. Let's hope that we can at least get one of these supply trucks over there to those boys in the woods. Um, we'll also go over here, see who else we can help. These guys also low on ammo. Pretty much everybody on the field except for these guys are low on ammo. But look at that. They're pushing into our strongest zone, guys. The village. Uh, the town, I should say. This is not what I wanted to happen. But this is all we have. Um, we don't have much left in terms of infantry. We've got to work with what we've got. Maybe we should have actually brought uh, some of those um, mortars into this town. What I will try to do is get the MG42 over there so that we can react a bit. 
but that seems like a successful Soviet assault wave. We're still getting a few hits on them, which is nice, but this is all we've got, my friends. All right, we, we have pinned them. We've pinned them. That's a big start, a big start. It looks like that MG42 is doing its job. The MG42 bunker here, I think is extremely important, but it seems like even they're struggling to reload on time. Maybe in phase C we get something. I highly doubt it, guys. We are playing army general mode here. So it's pretty much like um, semi-historical battles uh, or engagements. Uh, depending on, you know, what army you have in the position, that's the army you use to defend against the enemy. So it really forces you to think outside of the box, especially if maybe you're facing tanks and you don't have any tanks yourself. Uh, you know, you just kind of have to figure things out for yourself. So I, I really enjoy that. Uh, but it seems like some people have not been fans of the actual... Um, campaign system in the game. All right, let's see if we can knock that truck out. I know there's a mortar on that truck. It would really help. Yes! Beautiful. One less mortar that can be used against our men. We can't forget that we've got these mortars here. I'm going to try... Oh, man, it's too far. What about this guy? We can possibly hit this area. We're going to try with our 120 millimeter since they want to play games. Our grenadiers were made for this question is, are they going to be able to get off a single shot? And I don't think so, because they're still pinned. Look at that, boys. Alright, we're going to push into the village here, into the woods. I'm going insane. I've been on the eastern front too long. Alright, nice. we got some falling back. Keep that damn thing going. Seems like they have endless reinforcements. Um, just crazy amounts of reinforcements and, of course, consistent bombardment. Maybe this is their plan to break through our lines. Is just keep bombing us, keep sending reinforcements, and eventually, eventually, their men will break through. Although, I have to say, our bunkers are doing a great job here. I think we're about to catch that Studebaker. Let's hope so. And just knock out, again, more enemy um, mortars. That's certainly a mortar. Or I think... Actually, that could just be transporting munitions. Come on, get a better shot. No, that's just munitions. I apologize. That's another miss! Come on! <laughs> those dice rolls need to be more effective. Oh, another miss. Look at all those burned-out vehicles. This looks like the, uh, the Gulf War, almost, with all the burned-out vehicles there on the highway. looking around guys seeing if there's any area the enemy's broken through at any moment they could certainly in this area things seem more likely to turn into a breakthrough situation um so i'm just going to kind of put as many men as i can in in this wooded area and i really still like to hold that area the more we have the better obviously is that 120 millimeter mortar fire no she's not she has fallen silent guys that is a dead mortar my goodness what do you say about the Soviets? Uh, they've got some pretty effective um, uh, mortar fire there. And we're the Grenadiers. But this is putting us to shame. Yeah, at this distance, I don't think that machine gun's too effective. Now, this is what I'm mostly worried about. Look at that. We've got another Studebaker advancing. Now, hopefully, again, it's just a supply vehicle, uh, not containing any men, and I think the bullets next to it indicate it is, um, but I'm not 100% sure. So, hopefully, that means that the enemy's also running out of men here, kind of sending in the last of the last. Oh, boy. like to send this guy to the eastern front as punishment for his terrible aim, but yeah, <laughs> we can't do that. He's already here. You've been here the whole time. That's the Overlook Hotel. Go. Oh, oh, oh. No, once again missed. But I don't see much going on on the enemy line. I think we have withstood, guys, 
the Soviet wave here. If I had to guess, I think we've withstood the Soviet wave. Obviously, this, ta this town still has to deal with massive Soviet bombardments, um, but I don't see us losing ground here. I don't see us being pushed back. Um, at this point, I think the enemy has also used up most of their points, um, if not all, and uh, this is all they have. I'm, I'm calling their bluff, man. I'm calling their bluff. So what we're going to do, guys, is skip to the end of the battle. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you if you prefer multiplayer battles, let me know in the comments down below, and somebody can thumb that comment up if you agree. Uh, if you guys prefer the single-player battles, obviously let me know as well, uh, like this one, and uh, we will keep on going. I'll give a little tour here of the battlefield. Uh, I mean, yeah, the enemy definitely burned up some forest, uh, and I'm sure that the losses are going to be pretty nasty. We'll check that out at the end of the battle here. Uh, but overall, we succeeded. Um, this is our victory big time. I don't really see the Soviets um, coming back from that. They're going to have to get a, a lot more men. But obviously, had the Soviets had, I don't know, maybe 13 or 14 more groups of men, uh, they could have easily overrun one of these areas. Probably not the right side, but certainly this area right here in the center. Um, it really just came down to our boys holding out. And as you can see here, just all of the shell holes, they did their absolute best to try and get us out of that position. A lot of good men died here on both sides this day. Alright, well they really did fight to the very end and so did our men and as you can see a lot of units actually out of ammunition here at the end there. Just amazing guys. We used every single last round to its absolute uh, best potential um, in this battle. Uh, I think the only sad fact is the fact that this town was badly destroyed. And for once, the Soviet people cannot blame us for it. <laughs> it's going to be on the Soviets here, uh, totally almost nuking their own town. Um, the church did survive, but pretty much else in that n initial stage was destroyed. Um, so let's take a look here, guys, at the actual kills. Um, pretty incredible kills for our men. Nonetheless, the Soviets still managing to do a pretty good job there um, in terms of breaking through some of these defenses. And most of the kills really going to those fortifications. Uh, in certain instances, we have the bunker, not the bunker, the grenadiers. Um, the grenadiers over here as well getting a decent amount of kills. But I really think that if it wasn't for those fortifications, this would be a very, very different battle. Um, absolutely. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to hit that like, com like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and also, keep in mind that you have to hit the bell to actually get updates, regular updates for new videos. Um, and make sure to follow me on Twitch TV so that you can actually see some live videos. Thanks again, guys. Take care. I'll catch you on the next one.